Hey everyone, I'm gonna paint some flowers today because it's probably my most popular request is flowers. I have some Indian yellow, some Payne's gray. I put down some red and Hansi yellow. I'm gonna mix some muted tones the background. Um, so I'll do a muted green. It's kind of an olivey, olivey green. I'm using a really wet brush because I like, um, in the background layer, I like the toothiness of that canvas to show through. I'm not making a pattern or anything. I'm just trying to make a bunch of random shapes for my underpainting. And then some of this will pop through in the end and some of it will get covered up. Just keep dipping my brush in a little bit of water. Gonna have variety in the different sheets just with this pretty limited palette here. I know it looks ugly in some spots, but that is okay. You really won't be able to make out most of this anyway. But some of the nice um, marks, the weird marks that you want to leave showing through, you can. And then whatever you want to cover up also, you can cover up. I'm going to let this dry before I add my next layer of paint. Just want to make sure all of the canvas is covered. I don't want any of those little um, areas that didn't really soak in the paint the first time. I don't really want any of those showing. All right, I'm going to give this a good five, ten minutes to dry. Okay, that's mostly dry, and it looks super ugly. <laughs> Hopefully I can um, bring it to life. I am going to use Payne's Gray as my background color. 
I like it because it's a really dark blue. It goes on pretty dark. You mostly just need one layer. I am carving out the vase first. And I'm going to just make the shape, the overall shape that I want for this painting. So I'm going to have some leaves up in this area. And I'm going to go slow because it's easy to overdo this. You can always add more to your negative space. Um, it's easier to take away than it is to add in. So if I go a little too crazy, all right now it's gonna I'm gonna lose all of this effect from my first layer and I don't want to do that. I'm going to have the top be kind of dark here. I'll have a flower. And then I'll carve out some leaves. Cover that up. I think this is a good start. We might fix that. We'll see. But sometimes those weird marks end up making your painting cute. Sometimes they just end up being weird. So while that is drying, I'm going to add a little bit of white. Um, and white on top where just where some flowers are going to be so I can put down some nice reds and pinks. And the, the dark colors won't muddy it up. So there'll be a flower there. There'll be a flower here. Definitely over here. We'll have some little flowers. And then probably one down here. I'm going to brighten up so a couple of little spots in the background. That was my teal. This is my Indian yellow. couple of stems to get started and just some pups of brighter colors in here. I think that's a good start. I think um, also I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to move to my pinks and reds and yellows for my flowers. I like everything so far. I never used this red. It's getting a little gummy. 
I'm gonna add some red and some yellow and a little turquoise. I'm gonna try to mix up some really great fun colors. I think I'm gonna use some of this quinacridone magenta. And I definitely need some white. All right, that'll be a good start. I'd like to mix a little bit of a pink, pinky purple maybe. And a nice light pink. I'm gonna try to get a good mix of light and dark. I don't want all of my flowers to be exactly the same. So I'm gonna mix it up with a little yellow. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white up here, brighten it up. And some brush strokes going in different directions so that everything isn't the same. Trying not to make my flowers too round. Not too round. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of yellow here. I think this will help to really brighten things up a bit. Put a little of this in the face. And a little bit of bright orange. And just layer it with that yellow, it's pretty. And now that dull, ugly background doesn't look so ugly anymore. Those bright colors um, brought it to life. Now I'm just gonna try to make some different marks around the canvas um, for some more just abstracted flowers.
a little more light highlights here. And some of the, um, I like how some of the paint is streaky, which I intentionally don't um, over mix paint on my palette so that I get a more streaky look in some areas. I like this area. I'm trying not to overdo it now. I think I want to touch this up and this a little bit. And then also my, and a little bit more to my vase. So I think this could be brightened up a bit. And the same up here. Maybe with a little bit of pink. Yeah, I think that works a little better. Add a little bit more of that blue too. I like that. But I have some turquoise here, so I'll use this first to kind of brighten up some of these stems. Put a little yellow and make some brighter green. I want to leave a lot of this background showing through, so I'm trying not to cover it all. Nice bright marks in the vase. I like that yellow there. So I'm going to try to leave that. And I think. I'm going to let my flowers dry for another minute and then I'm going to add a little bit more color on those. And I still think I want to touch up the vase a little bit. I'm going to grab a clean brush. And I'm going to grab some of this Indian yellow that I was using at the beginning of the painting in my background color. It's pretty translucent, so I might need to add some white or something into it to make it a little more opaque. I need to fix that. That whole shape of the vase wasn't quite right over here. So I'm kind of making a mess of it, but hopefully I'll be able to fix it. I'm gonna mix up a little gray by kinda mixing a bit of everything on my palette. Outline the vase a little to reshape it. And I'll put a little of this color around. It's kind of ended up being a little bit of a brown.
And I'm gonna rinse my brush a bit. And I think this teal will help to brighten up the vase. Paint is too wet so you can see it kind of separating because my brush was too wet on my paint. All right, I'm going to work on the flowers and then hopefully I will be finished. I'm going to go back to my magenta and my red and my white. And a little bit of my Hansa yellow. I think I'll do the orange first. Oh, the brush is soaking wet. There's too much water in that. Put a little magenta and make it a little more purple. I think I like this one. I'm not going to do too much with that. really light pink. I don't like this brush. I'm going to get a new brush. A little bit smaller. This one's a bright size three. There we go, I'm happier with that flower now. Just keep adding paint, making small marks until I'm mostly happy with the result. Put a little pink up here. I think this one's just about finished. If you have ideas for painting demonstrations you'd like me to do in the future, you can leave a comment and let me know. Just touch up the leaves. I think this one is finished. Hope you enjoyed it.